What doing? I am Patrick. And I'm Lainey. And, and we, we are, are Date, Date Night, Night Dorking. So we are back. We took a little bit of a break because of everything going on right now. And we've really missed making videos and streaming and everything. So now we're back. We're going to be getting back into all of that so we can provide more things for you guys. One of our quarantine projects was to upgrade our basement. Uh, we drew some inspiration from some of our favorite date night spots and we redid just about everything down here. We also spruced up our game room a little bit, so we decided to make a video to show not only the basement, but what we did with our game room, and we just wanted to share it with everybody. Let's take a look at the game room. We spent a lot of time during the quarantine reorganizing and cataloging the games. And then when we're done in the game room, stay tuned for a part two where we explore the rest of the basement, where a bunch of other stuff happens. So as we enter the game room, on the left hand side here we have our whole streaming setup. We got our two TVs, we play right next to each other when we play games here. And uh, we can kind of go over the consoles we got here. So we got the PS3, the Xbox One S, all digital. We got a Wii U, and we have a second Wii U upstairs in our bedroom. We do, we like the Wii U. We like that. And then, well, this is a little messy right here, but we've got the mini consoles here. So we've got the, uh, the Genesis Mini, Super Nintendo Mini, uh, PlayStation Mini, and the Nintendo Mini. All those, these are all hooked up. Actually, we only have one hooked up at a time, so we can switch them out. Got the PS4 and the PS4 controllers on a charger. Got the Wii controllers on a charger. And then when we come down here, we got the Wii, Xbox controllers, and an empty space. So this is all of our like newer gen systems here. Um, newer, I say. Uh, so we have spot for one there. Hey, there's me. And Mario and Luigi are keeping track of everything. So this is our streaming camera here. It's, a, it's actually a pretty cheap camera, but it works pretty well. So I like it. I think we only paid like 40 bucks for this thing. And we got another Xbox One here. Um, we do have another PS4, but we have it up in the up in our living room. Uh, so we have the two Xbox Ones, that way if we want to play the same game, we can play them both at the same time on the two TVs. And we got the Jason mask from the uh, Ultimate Slasher edition of Friday the 13th. This mask is really awesome. It's really heavyweight and it's just high quality. All right, so we got PlayStation 1. And we are a little bit of Pokemon nerds, so we got our Pokeballs here too. And the PS2. And this is uh, one of those Retrons. So it does Genesis, Nintendo, and Super Nintendo. Uh, so we actually have that hooked up as opposed to having the Genesis and the Nintendo hooked up. They're just kind of there for show. Uh, it's just easier to have that hooked up. Uh, we got a Saturn. This is probably one of my favorites. I can't wait to get some more games for it. Uh, my brother got me this for Christmas, so I'm really excited about that. Um, the N64, which we haven't hooked up yet, but we have it. We just haven't played it yet. And the Dreamcast. Yeah, good old Dreamcast. So all these boxes here, these are the Retro Game Treasure boxes. They make really nice risers for all these consoles. Um, also keep the spare controllers in there. Yeah, yeah, the spare controllers are in there. So those are not only stylish but functional. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we do have that one Funko box down there too. 
believe the Mega Man Funko came in that. So, oh, we have the PlayStation box over here. So this was uh, one of the, I don't know exactly what you call them, but I'll call it a loot crate that I got from GameStop that had a blanket and a hat and all kinds of other accessories that you'll see over on our game shelves. So this uh, little sh curtain here, I'm not gonna show you what's behind the curtain, but the curtain's pretty cool. Uh, behind the curtain is basically just all of our extra wires and spare boxes, spare boxes controllers, consoles, anything yeah. extra that we have. Yeah, any duplicate games. Yeah, so that's all back there. It is a wreck. I gotta really clean that up. So coming over here a little bit. So we got a couple of our game boxes. Uh, we got the 360 box, the Rock Band box. Good old big Pikachu sitting there. Pikachu. And then some of our Funkos. Uh, whoever that one is on the right. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Red from uh... yeah. Just the Whoever that is. And uh, Recyclops from The Office. This one's really cool. I really like this one. He's cool. And he was super cheap too. We got him at Walmart for like four bucks. So if you got a Walmart near you, they got him on clearance. So check it out. And we got this rocket. This big rocket here. Yeah. I was going to call him Raccoon. He is a raccoon. So, so other Funkos we got. So let's just go through them here. Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Hello Neighbor. Uh, Hermione, Hermione, Granger. The Joker, 8-Bit Mega Man. I love the 8-Bit Mega Man. That's my favorite. Which one's your favorite? I mean, I love them all, but uh, I'm definitely big into Harry Potter. Those were probably the first ones I got and started my collection. So, so. The, the Potter. There he the is. The Potters, yeah. That's the Potter. Um, I also really, really like, uh, you didn't get to it yet, but the um, the Marvel versus Capcom. I think that's is. a really cool, uh, yeah. that's a really cool mix there. Again, Rocket. This one's um, awesome. And Mega Man. Yeah, I really like that one too. He's, he's pretty cool. Uh, actually, to be fair, my, my favorite is the biggest one that I have. There's Dwight, Han Solo, Chewbacca, and Fake Crash. The Fake Crash is really cool. Uh, this was a GameStop one, inclusive. Fake Crash is cool. So we got our NES games here. Not all that many NES games, surprisingly. My brother got me this for Christmas. This is a uh, Simon's Quest, signed by the nerd. Pretty awesome. Look at that. I love it. Nerd's awesome. Good copy of the game. Do have another copy up there too, but in case I want to play it, that's the one that we played, not the not the signed one. We actually don't have very many SNES games. Uh, we also don't have an SNES, so this is true. <laughs> yeah, we haven't we haven't gotten that far yet. Um, so yeah, Mario Paint, Game Genie, whatever. Uh, so GameCube, we do not have a GameCube either, but we have a Wii that plays GameCube games, so that works. Wii. Play on the Wii. Wii. Oh, some N64 accessories there. We do have Rumble Packs, and I know from our banana box, we had gotten, if you saw that video, we got the Rumble Packs and the uh, transfer pack and all that stuff. Another one that I'm not too happy about is the Dreamcast collection is really small. There's not much there at all, and they're not even that great of games, but. So the Genesis games. They are what they are. I think my favorite. There it is. Shadow Run. The game's really fun. I wish it had a save feature though. It's the only thing that's missing out of that game. We got a little, little Pac-Man machine, a couple of N64 games. I think my favorite is Sonic. Which one? Oh, definitely the Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. 3D Black. First Sonic. One. Sonic 2. Sonic the 3. First one. Sonic Spinball. Sonic, 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 Sonic. I mean, Sonic was big. Yeah, he was. Sonic's still big. And look at all these 2,600 and 7,800 games. Yeah. So my grandmother was a big Atari collector, so that's where a lot of these games came from. All right, and then here is her favorite Funko over here. Yes. It's a big old Spyro. 
Look at him. He's he huge. Amazing. He's really cool. And you can see through littered throughout here. We have we do have like other just knickknacks and accessories and stuff. But so our DS games and this tin right here. This tin's actually really cool. This was one of our first yard sale pickups that we got <laughs> when we started yard selling. Yeah. Is this Gears tin? Really neat. So an original Game Boy is not working at the moment. Don't have a power adapter. And the battery terminals are all jacked up. And there are my two Saturn games, Sonic R and Road Rash. Sonic! Really like to have more, but it is what it is. Small Wii U collection. And Vita. And Vita. And Vita collection's not all that big either, but I'm working on it. Vita games are not easy to find. Look how large the PSP the collection PSP is. PSP collection. I'm really surprised. I've been, yeah. Anytime I get a chance to get PSP games, I try to get them. We're moving over, we got Wii games. Wii, Wii, Wii. Another Wii. Another Atari 7800. Just kind of there for the heck of it. And Odyssey 2 games. So I've been trying to collect for the Odyssey 2. Uh, it's not a huge, it doesn't have a huge game library, so it'd be really cool if we could finish it, but we'll see. This game's really neat though. So this quest for the rings here, it comes with all these, let's see what we can do here. It comes with all these chips and all kinds of neat stuff, really. I have not played this game, but it comes complete with all that stuff, which is really, really neat. And coming back up here, we got Xbox and 360 games and the Xbox One games. They're kind of all together. Since they pretty much all play on the same console, we may as well keep them together, right? Mm -hmm. And PS2 and PS3, not a whole lot of PS3. So this uh, Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection here, picked that up at a yard sale a little, not too long ago for only five bucks. And come to find out it, uh, it's a pretty darn rare game. So, all right, all of our Genesis games in the box is our Majority of those are all complete, and maybe a couple that are missing manuals, but... And this Jason mug. This Jason mug is really cool. Mm -hmm. And we're going to come back over to these magazines and books in a minute. So there's our PS4 collection, and our PlayStation 1 collection, with our one big box PS1 game. And as you can see, the little PlayStation uh, controller that came with the uh, loot crate. Yeah, that came with the loot crate. All these boxes did. A lot of these things came inside these boxes and we kept them, kept the boxes as kind of bookends. It came with this mug. Uh, a lanyard. A yeah, pin. there was a lanyard, a pin. There's this tin. Toasters. Yep. A whole bunch of toasters. Toasters. Oh, and this hat down here came with it too. There's actually a couple other things in there too. There's a, there's a bathroom mat, which I don't really understand what you're going to do with that. It's not really a game room thing, but... We could use it. It's kind of cool. Gaming records. It is what it is. Kind of neat, though. It's not even so much records. I mean, some of them are actually records, but... A lot of them are just... Things that you can... Can achieve in these games. And then we have... These were another yard sale find. These two wrestling mag... Uh, like comic books. Got them. I think they were about a quarter each. They're really cool. I really like these. They're just, I mean, that artwork is really neat. Um, they were about a quarter each and uh, they're, they're pretty collectible. I forget exactly what kind of value they have, but they are, they definitely have a, uh, collectible value so that's about it for the games uh we'll run out of room i know some people have a lot more games than we do but we're we're running out of room here so luckily we got room to add another set of shelving if we need to so this is our streaming backdrop 
Got it lit up. We got the, the Mario sticker scene that, that uh, Lainey put up. And those, uh, those canvases right there, they were actually painted by a friend. Um, she did an incredible job on those. I mean, they are so good. She didn't. She didn't stencil or anything. She hand painted all of those. So that's yes. very impressive. Three of our favorite games. Yeah. Uh, so down here, I don't have it on display right now, but wanted to take it out. We do have the Odyssey Odyssey Two in the box. Uh, and we do have a. Uh, a video coming up here soon of modding an Odyssey 2 uh, so you can play it on any TV because oh, let's open that back up this is one of those that you have to use one of these one of these stupid switch boxes here because it takes one of these terrible connectors but you'll see that in the video uh, this is not your standard connector it only goes into this box and then you have to to put that in there but we did pick up another Odyssey 2 uh, relatively recently and figured out how to how to modify it. It's a really easy mod. Um, so yeah, game posters. We got a, a games bucket list. Which we haven't scratched anything off on yet. I know. We have played Patrick some of this has stuff. completed some of these games but has yet yeah. to scratch them off. I always off. said I wasn't going to scratch them off till I uh, beat the game. But I might need to start doing that because I don't have time to beat all these, especially Guitar Hero 3. I mean, oh, we gotta beat that. <laughs> it's a random DS box. And as we pan down a little bit, we got uh, we got Einstein. We have our streaming dog. He is, always hangs out with us on our streams. He may not always be in camera, but he is there. Always. Almost always on the couch, smushing us together. This is true. Yeah, a couple more posters over here. Friday the 13th, that came in the Ultimate Slasher. These Nintendo posters came in the uh, in the minis boxes. Kind of upset that the PlayStation and the Sega did not come with posters, but GTA, that's a very old poster that yes. uh, has been around for a long time. <laughs> I believe my brother had it first and he gave it to me when he gave me a box of games. And then we have our streaming monitor. So this is where we can see all of our comments um, or anybody that's that's talking to us obviously um, we do keep a uh, weird wall of remotes yes yeah we have very <laughs> many remotes for all of our our lighting and our TVs and whatnot and we got this date night uh, water box here kind of light up yes. all of our signs here everything lit up 